Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to propagate a Dracaena marginata, which is also known as a dragon plant. So I have here a tree that is pretty much outgrown the container and I would need to transfer this into the larger one and at the same time I'm going to cut these little shoots out and then make that into its own tree. So what you need is a few of these smaller containers for the smaller branches and then the larger plant here will go into this large container. Let me go fill this up with some soil and I'll be right back. Okay, I have the soil ready. Here they are. You want something that's nice and fluffy. You don't want compacted soil because this would allow the tree to grow better and also water to drain easier because these type of plants they don't need to be watered too often so well drained soil and fluffy soil are good to use you can use the cactus mix or you can make your own just get some organic compost and then add some perlite and that should work I just got these for my garden so we'll put that aside so for this what we're gonna do here is I have three branches here I'm gonna cut that out you can use any clean scissors or um, cutting equipment. So I'm just gonna cut it right there. That's one. Two. And three. So let's prepare this for the soil. We need to remove some of these bottom leaves. Okay, we'll leave this much. You don't want too many leaves because you want the plant to focus on rooting. So this is a good amount to leave here. And you can do that for the rest of the other branches. Okay, here are the three branches. We're gonna let that dry for an hour so that this can dry up before you put them in the soil and that would prevent infection on this uh, cut part so we'll leave that there to dry and in the meantime we can go ahead and repot the larger one okay here's the larger plant everything's all cut up check out these roots at the bottom so let's try to remove it out of here without damaging any of those Look at that, it's outgrown this container long ago. So we'll just go ahead and transfer it into a larger container, like this one. Okay, you just want to pat it down a little bit, but don't compress the soil too much. Okay, so that is it for the larger one. Let's give it some water. All right, we'll put this aside. Okay, it has been an hour now, so the cuttings are dry enough to transplant. Here they are. See how dry they are? So it's ready to go into the soil. First we want to moisten the soil by watering it thoroughly. Alright, you want the soil to drain out to the bottom so that you know that these are good well drained soil because you're not going to water very often. If you water too much and the soil is too wet, these things will rot. So let's go ahead and place them in here. Like so. Push it in a little bit to give them a little support.
and then you can add some soy on top. Okay, we are done now. So those are all of our plants. This is a parent and those are our cuttings. And I will come back in a few weeks to show you progress. All right, here it is, two weeks exactly. And we're having some progress. Let me show you what's going on. So there it is, a little crack on the side and the shoot is starting to push out. And if you notice this here, that's also a little crack. So eventually those one little shoot will push out there as well. And if you look around here, there's another one right there. And then there's another one right here. So in two weeks time, the plants are starting to push out new stuff and that might be one as well right there. And then the three young shoots are doing well, still look alive. Let me see if I can pull out one of these to show you what it looks like at the bottom. stuck in there so I think it has developed roots yep look at that those are roots So now I have a total of four trees just by doing propagation. So there you have it guys. Um, it's very, very easy to propagate these plants. So give it a try and you're going to have a bunch of little new trees to grow. All right, that's uh, all for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thank you for watching.